So because I keep getting this particular question, please, how do you customize your own 2x6 or 2x4 lace closure from your Swiss lace? Okay, from your yard or Swiss lace, I would like to know. That is the reason why I'm making this particular video. Okay, how you can actually customize your lace, your 2x6 lace closure from your Swiss lace. It can be a yard. So my yet one subscribers thank you guys so much if you are yet to subscribe please consider that so this is the lace we'll be working with we need pencil we need our measuring tape we need our rule we need scissors okay and then we need vent our uh, venting pin that's for the ventilation part so guys one important thing you must take note is this make sure the place you are cutting you're actually getting a vertical line if you can look at this closely you can get you can see there's a vertical line that like there please do not cut it this way do not cut it where there is a diagonal line if you do this like this you are actually damaging the lace because you can't work with it like you know you can't um ventilate with it that's just a pure tool so make sure you place it in a way that you are getting a vertical line so this is the right way for me to go ahead and customize my lace so you're working with two by six closure okay two by six size of closure that's what we are tra actually trying to customize so i'll go ahead and use my tape to measure out two by six yeah so i'm going to measure my width first which is two inches and later on they will now measure our length which is chain um six inches okay but i'm actually going to be measuring out two and a half inch like i'll be marking in between two and three okay this is our two inches which is where our our closure is supposed to be i'm going to give extra half okay i'm going to still mark extra half that is between two to three this is just for sewing purpose okay for the both the little space we are going to give both at the right and then uh, both at the right and the left side of the closure so what i'm going to do now is to use my rule to make mark out a straight line this is for cutting purpose but if you are good at actually giving a cut in a way that it's very very straight and smooth you don't need to do this but for someone like me i need to do this for me to actually get it right okay because guys <laughs> i'm not a teller okay so um, my hand is not that straight whenever i'm trying to cut something so now let's measure out our length okay we have our six inches we are working with two by six the width is two inches and then the length is six okay this is actually our two inches but i'm still going to give extra half okay that's where we are going to cut it from extra half is just for just extra that i normally give whenever i'm working with a closure like whenever i'm venting a closure so from that extra half i'll still give it a straight line just mark out a straight line this is for cutting purpose okay because i need to get it right if i do it if i cut it they cut it without doing this huh? you will like the ant come okay it won't be straight but if you are good at cutting a straight very straight something you don't need to actually um use your rule to give it a straight line but you fall if you fall in the same will with me if you fall in the same category with me please do this so from there i will just give it a cut and then still go ahead and give it a cut the other side just to cut out our two inches so just to cut out our closure our two by six closure so this is actually what we are going to be working with so remember the extra half we gave i'm going to divide this extra half into two then quarter of it for the left and then quarter of it to the right please guys if you followed me to this point and i think you found any important value you've gotten any value from this video and you are yet to like this video please this is an opportunity to just hit that like button if you are yet to subscribe consider subscribing so from that quarter now i'll just give it a straight line okay and then i'll do the same with the right hand side okay the extra we gave the quarter we gave which is part of the extra half we give just for sewing purpose guys like i'm going to use this particular tool um lace 
to ventilate a 2 by 6 closure. Time for us to get our center pattern. Okay, half of the 2 inches is 1. I'll just give a mark at 1 inch. That's, sorry, 1 inch. That's our center pattern. I still use my rule to mark it. Okay, give it a straight mark. Remember where our 6 inches is? I will still go ahead and use my rule to give it the mark. Just draw a line. Okay, that's where we are going to stop while we are venting. Okay, so this is what we have. And then we have our way we are stopping. We have our the space we give both at the right, which I believe you guys know how we got it. Then the last thing I'm going to do is just to give a little space and make it. It's for venting purpose, okay? I'm going that's where I'm going to start it to vent. So I have my center button, I have everything. It's actually how to easily customize your two by six. It, this process can also be used when you're customizing four by four, two by four, any size of closure, okay? Instead of buying the one that already customized, buying the one that already customized in the market, you can see you can use this simple process to customize yours. Thank you guys for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe, like, share. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Bye. I see you guys in my next upload.